given the alphabet sigma equals to 0 and 1, we have sigma star, which is countably infinite set of strings, starting with epsilon, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and so on, which have a correspondence with natural numbers, n. If you evaluate the power set of sigma star, you get all the possible languages over the alphabet sigma, which we already proved to be uncountably infinite. Remember, the power set of natural numbers is uncountably infinite proof. If not, watch the lecture video on symbols and languages again. All right, we already know that few of the languages in this power set are regular languages. We demonstrated that they are regular by either coming up with a DFA or an NFA or a regular expression. But turns out there are uncountably infinite languages that cannot be recognized by any finite automaton. Such languages are called non-regular languages. But to not be discouraged, we can recognize few of those languages by upgrading our computational models, which will be the focus of the course in upcoming weeks. But you should keep in mind that there are many languages that cannot be recognized by any computer you can build based on what we know so far about computation. That will be the focus at the end of this course. All right. Let us try to come up with a finite automaton that can recognize the language of strings that are in the form 0 to the power n and 1 to the power n, with n ranging from 1 to infinity. It is not possible for the finite automaton to keep the count of number of zeros the machine reads from the input. Looks like we have to keep track of unlimited number of possibilities here and that's why we can say that, you know, we can't build a finite automaton for this. So this should be a non-regular language. But this is where things get fuzzy. I will show you two other language descriptions, which seemingly fit the argument I just made. But one of them is regular and the other one is non-regular. Clearly, we'll be able to come up with a DFA for the language L3. This DFA makes sure that the string is accepted only when the number of occurrences of substring 0, 1 and 1, 0 match. Whereas the language L2, it is similar to the 0 to the power n, 1 to the power n language that we saw earlier, adding another layer of complexity where the zeros and ones are interspersed with each other. So, how do we make sure we have a concrete argument when we want to confidently classify a language as a non-regular language? Turns out there are several tools out there. For this course, we will be focusing on what is called a pumping lemma. More on this in the next lecture.